Southeast Queensland is a biodiversity hotspot for native plants. Some of the species found here occur nowhere else on earth. Among the dry sandstone ridges around Logan and Ipswich cities, some plants have evolved special adaptations to survive the tough conditions out in the sun. But while they have evolved into a plethora of different shapes and sizes to suit the trials of life, they have suffered from the impacts of land clearing. Thanks to a new regional project, however, there is hope. This is the story of the Plunkett Mallee. Hi, I'm Glenn Leeper. I'm the Conservation Officer with a community group, Native Plains Queensland. And today I'm standing here in Plunkett Conservation Park and uh, this beautiful area is where the Plunkett Mallee, a little eucalypt, is growing on a big sandstone plateau. This uh, Plunkett Mallee is Eucalyptus curtisi and was first discovered here, right at Plunkett. So it was called the Plunkett Mallee. A mallee is a eucalypt that has lots of little skinny trunks and those little skinny trunks come up off a huge big swollen root system called a lignotuber and the trunks shed their bark. So every year all the bark peels off and it reveals this beautiful smooth brown or coppery coloured bark underneath. The flowers which pop out around about October, November each year in late spring are huge clusters of white flowers full of nectar and butterflies, bees, beetles and even nectar feeding birds are attracted to those flowers. It's really spectacular. While I'm here now the fruits are being formed, the little gum nuts and those gum nuts are full of little seeds which will drop into the habitat here ready for another generation of little plants to come up. This plant is classified as a near-threatened species. Now, threatened means it's threatened in its natural habitat by something. And the threatening process for Plunkett Mallee was land clearing. And there's been a lot of land cleared in southeastern Queensland, which is its habitat. And the Plunkett Mallee is now only found in a handful of locations. Hi, my name's Rhiannon West, and I'm an Assistant Development Manager with Lindley's Communities at Yarrabilba. The master planning of Yarrabilba makes provision for some 25% of the 2030 hectare site to be wildlife corridors, conservation parks and open space. These protected areas adjoin other outstanding natural areas that Yarrabilba shares its borders with, such as Wickham National Park and Plunkett Conservation Park. As we work to improve the quality of this land for conservation, we will be focusing on rehabilitation of species that were once common in the area but have declined in recent decades by reintroducing them into the landscape to boost their future survival. This includes the locally endemic tree Plunkett Mallee. At Yarrabilba, Lendlease Communities has implemented an exciting new partnership with TAFE Queensland and the Burallan Training and Correctional Centre that involves harvesting the seeds from these local trees growing the seeds into young plants and then allowing our teams as well as school groups to replant them across an extensive conservation area and in the new community. The seeds are collected, dried, weighed and bagged by university students working with Nature Pacific and with species specific growing instructions are then sent on to Burallan. Hi, my name's Lyle Bruckner and I'm the Educational Program Manager for TAFE Queensland. And I'm Steve Dooley and I'm the horticulture teacher here. And we're a part of the Rehabilitating Communities Project here at Borellan Training and Correctional Centre. So in 2016, we were looking for a project that we could incorporate as a part of our delivery here at Borellan Training and Correctional Centre with TAFE Queensland. So as a part of the project, we actually get seeds come in from the community and then from there, uh, our students will propagate them and bring them up to beautiful standards such as these. My role here as TAFE teacher is to work with both the TAFE groups and with the men who are employed to work in the greenhouse here in the nursery. It's particularly pleasing to me to see them all doing something really useful, something that they love and something that they can carry on with once they leave here. Due to the fact that we as prisoners who have committed crimes in the community, we are grateful to give back to the community as a new life force. 
We gain the seeds through the prison system via the TAFE. Once we receive these seeds, we have learnt that by placing hard seeds into small trays and then covering up seeds with boiling hot water, we let them sit for 24 to 48 hours in our cells. After this period of time, we prepare trays in the clearhouse to plant the seeds and Mother Nature takes over. Once the seeds have been germinated and grown to a certain height, we then negotiating transplanting from the seedling trays into single pots. Some trees and fauna have finally come to a point that they are ready to repopulate their ancestral habitats with the aid and assistance of councils, other nurseries and finally through a next generation our children. The most rewarding results in our work is to finally see that at least a percentage of humans are giving back to what is taken with hope their regeneration will be there for our future. I've been coming to this Plunkett Conservation Park for over 35 years and it's a wonderful spot. It's just full of beautiful threatened species, including the Plunkett Mallee. So I hope that this project actually adds to the conservation value of this wonderful park here and that other people will be able to come here and enjoy it for generations to come. Mm -hmm.